so beautiful right now. We woke up early, but not quite early enough so that we could drive an hour and a half to this beautiful place. We're on the Soldier Creek side of uh, Strawberry Reservoir and it is just so beautiful. So we're planning on catching some cutthroat trout, definitely some rainbow trout, and uh, we're just gonna enjoy this day. Still very nice and cool. Looked like it was 69 degrees when we got out of the car. And so it's just a gorgeous morning. Not a ton of people out here on this side. And so we're just gonna set up our stuff and then we're gonna get fishing. I did challenge the boys, uh, or I did tell them that whoever caught the first fish would get $3, not a ton of money, but just enough to get them motivated. So let's get some fish. I struggled to wake up this morning and I still had a bunch of things to do. Make the boys lunch, wake the boys up, and then finally we are able to take off. Look at that sunrise. Okay, we just got to McDonald's. There's a deer there. He's like totally trapped. He doesn't know where he's going. Got Koya here with his pollen. No bites yet and he's got a high-low rig. This is the kind of rig he has on his pole. Then we got Vita here. See what I did? Putting his hook on his line. And then he's going to be ready to go. Dima's trying to figure out his pole. You ready to get rigged up? Dima? Let's see. This. We just caught a crawdad with a little worm here. No hooks. Careful, don't get... Ooh. Did he almost get you? Got him there out. he is. Very nice. That was fun, hey? Huh? There's a lot of guys here. He just, he just pinches it. Mm -hmm. I put it warm for his face. Okay, so we're just fishing for crawdads right now. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. He's in the water, you can see him. Oh, he grabbed onto it. Oh, Dima caught another one. Oh, you lost him? Oh, it's okay. Look at that big guy, try and get that big guy right there. Oh, oh there he is, there he is. Oh, is he? Nope, he's gonna avoid it unless he's gonna try. Oh, let, let him grab it, let him grab it. He got it. He got it. He got it. There he is. Oh, awesome. He's actually, he's actually a pretty nice sized guy. There you go. That's yeah, pretty easy. Got two. But he just like claws it. Do you see the other big guy there? Yeah. Oh, the guy's eating our fish. There's one in there. What do you got there? A crawdad. A crawdad. Oh, he fell off. See if you can hook onto him again. But my worm came off. Oh. Why try and hook on this? Yeah, he's just crawling back into the water. Bye bye. Still here. It's been probably an hour. We've caught one fish and a ton of crawdads. We've got Dima there. Just trying to catch some more of those guys. And then uh, we're just waiting to get a bite on our poles. It's a gorgeous morning. And the uh, air is nice and fresh up here. Out of the city, out of that um, smoky air. Thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll catch more fish. Yeah, keep on the tongue. Wookashee. Yeah, keep on the tongue. Wookashee. Wookashee. Another one back there. Wookashee. Excuse me, Diana, let's that.
let's take a look at the all the crawdads that this guy caught. Let's see it. Ooh, these are nice big guys. Sweet. Can we cook one of them? Uh, probably not. Not this time, at least. We never even cooked before that. Boys have moved over in hopes of catching something awesome. But mommy, like my worm came out. Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. I'm here to tie it back on. So I'm walking over to my pole. I'm going to switch out the leader. I think it's too short. We just caught two fish and nobody else has caught any fish. So we're thinking it's the leader. Uh, the sun is coming up finally over this hill here. And so, I mean, we might need to adjust again, but for now, it looks like it's a longer leader. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna Lift all Just got another one. He's way over there. I'm going. I probably I'm gonna go, go there. For there he is. There we go. Got him. Do you think that we have enough ice in that cooler? Probably huh? not. We might have to stop by the arena to get some. All right, guys. It's been a long morning, and we only caught three fish. Guess who caught all of them? Yep, this guy right here. We're really excited actually to have caught any fish, um, but we did have a lot of fun. We caught a bunch of crawdads. Uh, we caught those three fish and uh, just enjoyed this beautiful day. So it was a win all around. So, how does it feel to be the only one to catch fish today so far? Good. You caught all three fish. All the three fish that we caught today, that was all you, buddy. I mean, I feel really good when I catch the only fish. Oftentimes, fishing is a waiting game. So here we are, waiting. Waiting for that next bite. We're waiting for the next fish. We could wait all day just for the hope of catching another fish. Isn't that crazy? That's what we do. We have come to the end of our day. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe and uh, join us on our next fishing adventure. All right, we'll see you on the water. We're gonna go ahead and clean our fish right now. We're just gonna do it in our front yard. And I've got my little helper here. What knife do I get to use? Which knife? Any knife you want. I want buddy. These are fish here. Ew. <laughs> you can have that one. No! I'm gonna play him. Okay, got a little bit of water. Okay, pass me my knife. Here, how's about I scale them and then you can cut them? Nah, so we're scaling them first. 
I, you actually don't need to scale them, but we'll just scale them. Okay. Can you scale him for me? I think I think that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's just rinse them off here. Can you rinse off my knife? It's fine. Right next to where his butt is. Okay. Right here. Yeah, but but be careful. So you're gonna. You're gonna start from the butt. Now hold it him on the bottom like this so you don't cut yourself. Just going right through his. It's uh. How do you do it? How do you do it? Mom, how do you. Yep, here, try. So you gotta point the knife up because you're cutting the skin, yeah? Try this one. This one is a bit sharper. Here. Yep, just cut it like this. You see? Yep. Okay, and then you're gonna cut it all the way up to the top here. All the way up to the gill face. Okay, then what we're gonna do is usually right there? usually I just grab oh, this, this up good? here. Yeah, you gotta go all the way to the top. Oh. Usually I just grab all the gills and rip it out, but I saw a guy just cut the head off right yeah. from the top down. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And then you just take the head and you just pull everything out, pull all the entrails out. We're actually gonna bury this in our garden so that. Uh, Hello, Hunter. Basically, our um, our plants oh, can grow yeah, pretty yeah, big. Yeah, I, I don't one. know if that's legal or not. This fish Maybe ate, not. I don't know. We probably don't. Worms. Probably don't want to call any um, rodents to our house. Maybe we'll just put them in the trash. Yeah. Okay. Hey, okay, you want to cut the head off? There you go. Yeah. Cut it right here and go down all the way here, right behind there. Okay. Hey, okay, hold it and don't cut yourself, please. Right here? Yeah. Okay, try this knife. This knife is better. Oh, you got it? Cut it all the way down. Okay, now take the head and rip. Okay. Oh man, look at that meat. So you're actually gonna you're actually gonna take it out like this. Uh oh. Well I guess we got majority of it. That's fine. Oh look at that meat. Look at that red meat. Look at that. Oh man. Like we're wasting a bunch. Okay. So the last thing you can do this one is you're gonna cut, I believe these are the kidneys. You're just gonna put your thumb in there and scrape out. You're gonna oh. scrape out all of that blood there. I actually had a tried fish. You haven't tried fish? Yeah, I had. They're me pretty good. Yeah, me too. My grandpa likes fish. Okay, we're gonna take these in. Come, you guys, don't step over here. There's a lot of fish stuff here. I'm gonna just rinse it down into the into the grass, okay? All right, that was it. See you later.